Hello, Marielos. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Marielos, good evening. Good Hello. evening. How are you? I'm um, fine. I am here rain. Rain right now. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, really? Where do you live at? In Santa Ana, it's fresh in for 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 this night. Yeah, it's gonna be fresh at night. Yeah, I bet. So you live at Santa Ana, so yeah, it's far away. The rain is far away because I live in Usulután, so we're in the opposite opposite section, right? So no, I don't think it's gonna rain here. Mariela, do you live in Santa Ana as well? Yeah. And it's I raining. Yeah, it's raining, but only a little. Uh, um, 30 minutes before is really, I don't know how do you say, fuerte, recio. Um, it's raining like really strong. Okay, really strong, yeah. Okay, okay. So you can say in English, actually, you can use, I remember I told you, you can use an idiom and say it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah. It was raining at some level, but not yet. <laughs> I think light. that maybe that's why, Marielos, your, your internet is a little bit, I don't know, slow? Yeah. Yeah? It's, it's for that, yes. Because of the rain, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, well, thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for your punctuality, Marielos and Alex. And thank you, Miguel, Julio, and now that Milton is joining for being here in the class. Remember that today, well, at least this week, is our final week here in the module number uh, pre-advanced three. Actually, I think, I don't know, I think that you will have to wait a little bit for the next module because as you know, you have scholarships and sometimes the scholarships stop. Then we need to wait for a little bit to come back with the scholarships. So I don't think we're gonna start pretty soon, but if we do start pretty soon, um, um, we're, well, Inglés Corporativo is gonna let you know but I don't know. It's maybe it's gonna take a little bit to start again. What I want to say is, don't uh, like if even if we have to wait a month or two months, don't give up. Okay, so just wait. Be patient. You have been patient uh, all the time that you have been learning English. So now you're almost done. So what you need to do is just wait, okay? And don't give up on English because if you give up, when you want to start again, you're gonna have to start like intermediate or pre-intermediate because you will forget some things. Like English is something if you don't practice it, you will forget it, right? So I will let you, like, I, I'm just trying to say that you need to, be patient and don't give up. Try to wait and they are gonna call you when they are ready again. I guess if you have been studying with English Corporativo, like Boris, I know Boris have been studying with English Corporativo since the beginning. So if you have been studying with English Corporativo, you know that sometimes you do have to wait, right? So just be patient, practice. That's something else I'm gonna tell you that practice, when we are not in classes, practice. Take your time to practice tongue twisters. Try to learn songs. Try to watch videos on YouTube. Try to watch series or movies in English. That way, it's gonna be easier for you to, how can I, like, not to forget English, okay? That way you're not going to forget English. But if you're in practice, when we come back, you're gonna be like, I don't get it, okay? So you need, you do need to practice, okay? And we only have only four classes left besides this one, only three. So today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the end 
Then I don't know when we're going to come back. I'm just letting you know that maybe it's going to take a while. So just be patient, okay? Perfect. So now I'm going to give you some minutes to practice this. Just, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Never on. The date, the date. I almost forgot. Send the date, please. Excellent. Thank you, Marielos. Perfect, Alex. Good job, Julio. Milton. Miguel, today is Monday. Monday 25th. You're living in the future, Miguel. <laughs> You're living in the future, yes. Just living in Tuesday. Okay, thank you guys. Today, yes, um, in fact, it is Monday, April, April 25th, 2022 or 2022. So to start this class, we're going to start with the practice that we have been doing a couple of days ago. And this is the practice you already know, right? It's very but a bit of butter. But the butter, very but was bitter. So very bad, a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. So now I guess that during the weekend you have been practicing this. So it's not gonna be difficult for you. It's very bad, a bit of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bad, a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Remember, it's about speed because today we're gonna go with speed. It's about speed, but also what is more important than speed is the pronunciation. Because if it doesn't matter if you say, but if, teacher, I said it, I finished. So that's not gonna be good because then you're gonna be you're like, but 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 ya terminé. That's not correct. What is correct is your pronunciation and then the speed. But the most important part, pronunciation, okay? Then you go with speed. We're gonna see how long you take to say it. I don't know how long I take to say it. Maybe you can take the time. I'm gonna take the time here. And we're gonna have a departure point on that. So you will see like how, like the estimated time, for example. Now, one, two, three. Very but a bit of butter, but the butter very well was little. You see, I make mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. One, two, three. Very but a bit of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very but a better butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. Mm. Can you see it? 593, like almost six seconds. You can say almost six seconds. So what you need to do is around that. Five, seven, something around that. Maybe you can even say eight. But remember, what it's most is the most important part is the pronunciation. Doesn't matter if you go running, but your pronunciation is not okay. So your pronunciation needs to be better. So be honest, who has been practicing the tongue twister? Nobody practiced during the weekend? No? Huh. And I told you on Friday. Only a few. <laughs> a few times? 
Remember the, pronunci yeah. the pronunciation, you're gonna achieve pronunciation practicing. The muscles here, the muscles, the muscles, the muscles, your tongue is a muscle, okay? Your vocal cords, they need to get used to. So they need to practice as, as long as you can, okay? Now I'm gonna give you some time to practice and then we're gonna take the time. We're gonna time each participant to see how they are doing, okay? What you can do is, I'm gonna say this in Spanish. Lo que pueden hacer es tomar el tiempo como tomen en el, en el reloj, pues cuenten cuando la persona empieza a decir very, ahí le dan start al, al cronómetro. Porque si le dan antes de estar al cronómetro, si usted dice one, two, three, acuérdense que siempre hay un delay, like between the internet. What you need to do is when you hear the person say very, then start the stopwatch. Okay, when you hear them finish, then stop the stopwatch. That's what you need to do. Okay, and also, first, you're going to practice right now. Then, when you finish practicing, you're going to take the times. Okay, first is practice. Then, you're going to take the time. But right now, you're just going to practice. Is that understandable? Yeah, no? Yes, perfect. Yes. Let's do it then, practice. Let's go, let's go.
Hello. Why don't your classmates seem they don't want to come to the main class? They want to stay practicing, right? Hey, you were alone. Uh, what is wasn't with you, Julio and Mariela? Only Mariela and Julio were together? Yes, he's gone. I don't know why. Yeah, he. It's almost every time we go to record rooms, <laughs> he goes away. I have noticed that every time we go to record rooms, he mm -hmm. disconnects. <laughs> maybe the, his internet may be bad. Maybe. Let's think about that. <laughs> okay, so let's see everyone's time. So, um, did you take the time? Yeah. Yes. So what was your time, Marielus? Uh, my best time it was uh, seven and twenty-five. Point twenty-seven, I think. Yeah. Seven point twenty-seven. Okay. And you, Julio? <laughs> Nine point twenty-six. Nine point twenty-six. Okay. Milton, what about you? Oh, you're muted. You sure? Mm hmm. Ten. What is Ten. it? Ten. Ten. Ten seconds. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Miguel Angel, what about you? Twelve seconds, teacher. Twelve. Okay. That's okay. Yes. Alex Haco? Uh, ten. Ten. Okay. And Evis, what about you? I didn't take the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what about if we take the time here together? Okay. You think you can try it here? Yes. Okay. You can start for, whenever. But One. I don't have the screen. Oh, you want me to share the screen? That's okay. I can share the screen. Thanks. Wait a second. Right. Okay. So you can start. One, two, three. Very bad, a bit of butter, but the better. Ah. It's okay, it's okay. But the butter, very bad, was bitter, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a second. Okay. I have to reset. Okay, one, two, three. Very bad, a bit of butter, but the butter, very bad, was bitter. So the very bad, a bit of butter, and it was better than the butter, very bad, for 8.42. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, guys. Well, what I have noticed here, well, in the breaker rooms also, is that, yeah, you didn't practice during the weekend. <laughs> you were maybe busy doing other stuff, but remember, this is just a way that you can improve your English. So your pronunciation, you can improve it by practicing the twisters or by learning songs in English recording yourself on audios and then listening to yourself like, hey, maybe, yeah, I was wrong with that pronunciation. Also, you can improve and you're gonna sound more native speaking. Well, they're just, so here's the deal. Even though you're really perfect at speaking English, your first language, language will always be Spanish, right? So, even if we try, even if for English is the best English it exists, we're always going to have that second language stuff. So, but you can improve and you can sound a little more native instead of sounding like, like when I speak in English, I speak like this and my English is perfect because I think it's perfect. It sounds different because when I do the really strong pronunciation of the words, then I then I am speaking in English like I speak in Spanish, and it's different. The tongue position is different. The muscles that I use are different. The vocal cords vibrate in a different way. So what I need to do is practice, 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 and practice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not telling you that you need to be perfect at speaking English. But for example, if you want to work in a call center, you need to try your best because sometimes people are going to be like, what? Okay. 
Okay, I, can, I could hear some music there. Okay, so what I'm trying to say right now here is, when people uh, get calls in a call, on a call, in a call center, what they do is like, hey, I wanna speak to your manager, I wanna speak to, with someone who speaks English and you're speaking English and they don't think you're speaking English because they are being like, how can I say this? They are being racist, okay? So what you need to do is try to improve your pronunciation as best as you can so you don't have those problems. Even though you're always going to have that people, that kind of people that think that you can speak English. But even though if your pronunciation, well, even though your accent, we won't get rid of the accent. And remember I told you accent is one thing, pronunciation is another thing. Accent is the way we speak. For example, the way we speak in Salvador versus the way that they speak in Guatemala, or in Salvador is very similar to Honduras, those kind of things. And the Ticos, they speak very differently. The R is really short, but the pronunciation doesn't change. Why? Because it's different if I say people. Okay, people. It's not people, but it's people, right? It's a, it's a tiny difference, that's accent. But if I say people and then I say people, that's a pronunciation problem, right? So that, that's the, different, the difference you need to pay attention to. Anyways, now I want you to speak because I do really need you to speak in English more right now. So we're gonna have a, wait a second. We're gonna have a conversation. I need to do a conversation practice. And in the conversation practice, I need to practice these questions, okay? So we're gonna do these questions and pronounce like uh, conversation practice. The first question is, what do you like to wear? We're gonna talk about clothing right now. Clothing, this is clothing, right? What do you like to wear? For example, I like to wear t-shirts and pants because I feel comfortable. And with my shoes, I like to go with really, really, really comfortable shoes. Next one, where do you buy your clothing and what colors do you choose? Yeah, that's an interesting question. So I buy my clothing Mm, usually, well, I have two places. First place where I bought clothing is United States. You know, the pants, I like uh, I like my pants from there because sometimes I feel like they, the ones they sell here, they are too expensive or they get drawn really fast, right? Those are two, two things. And also, I don't know what you think about this. I think it's okay because the contamin like the pollution in the environment exists and we're pollu polluting the environment. So I like to go in a eco-friendly way and I like to do thrift shop. Do you know what is thrift shop? You don't know what is thrift shop, nobody? No? Okay. Second hand clothes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I like to do that because it's also cheap and also you're helping the environment because just to get one t-shirt, they are using like 200 little, like I think 200, yeah, 200 liter, liters, liters. Is that a correct? I don't know if I'm saying something wrong. Uh, of water for every single t-shirt. So I think that's too much. So I like to go with the thrift shop. That's my opinion. You're gonna give your opinion. What type of clothes do you do you not like wearing? I don't like skirts. I don't know why guys, but I don't like skirts. Since I was a little child, I don't like skirts. I don't like dresses, but I would rather wear a dress than wear a skirt because I don't like skirts. I don't know. I, don't, I feel really uncomf uncomfortable with them. Next one, what type of clothing do your friends wear? My friends wear trendy clothes, 
You know what is trendy? No, trendy, like fashionable clothes. My friends wear, sometimes they wear skirts, not all the time. They wear pants and they wear oversized, oversized clothing. Do you, you know what is oversized clothing? No, no, you don't know what is oversized. Grandes. Exactly, because that's fashionable now, that is trendy now. Do you remember uh, like last year or a few years ago, the really, really stretch jeans, they were fashionable. Now they are not. Now the oversized jeans, they are fashionable. That's what my friends were now. Anyways, so we're gonna have some conversations with this. You're gonna have different opinions on this because I know every person is different. Every person wears different types of clothes. <clears throat> so copy these questions, take a screenshot, and we're gonna have a conversation practice because that's what I need you to do. Is the activity understandable and clear? Is it clear, guys? Yeah? Yes. Yes. It's Remember, clear. with pre advance, what you need to do is to speak and practice speaking. Okay, let me see if I like this breaker rooms. Okay, let's go.
kind in my job is necessary more uh, more more commodo in comfortable. Uh, comfortable 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 comfort yeah Isha? it's written comfortable but the pronunciation is comfortable comfortable okay comfortable in in the week and the on the weekend. weekend weekend i i like the chore use i wear a chore and sandalia or tennis then it's in it's, it's more comfortable for but for the the wearer is is hot on time mm -hmm. In my my favorite color is the is white, white or or red. Where do you buy? Where do you buy? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I I received from USA of my aunt. Oh, ah. okay. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How about you, Evie? Hey, ask me. Okay. Where do you buy your clothing and what clothes do you choose? I don't have a specific place to buy my clothes. Um, sometimes. I bought in some clothing store, maybe in, in the mall. And sometimes I I support to my my sister because she she sells clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. And the colors that I choose is a
Hello. It seems like you were very comfortable in the break rooms. You didn't want to come, you didn't want to come here to the main session. Okay. So you were practicing, I bet you were speaking. I know clothing is a, a topic that we like to discuss, right? Like how we dress, how we look and stuff clothing. like that. Clothing. 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 Yeah. Clothing, clothing. is yeah, clothing, clothing is a is a topic that we like to discuss. Clothing. And I was listening there, like what the favorite colors to wear. And for me, guys, I like to. I like my favorite, favorite, favorite color in the world is white. I don't know why, but it just seems clean, right? But, but. Me too, teacher. Right? It seems really clean. And I don't know. It's nice. Clean and pure. Pure. Yeah. Clean and pure. Yeah, it's true. But oh. some people. Yeah. Alex, tell me. I want a question. Uh, what, what the correct pronunciation for the word weird? Weird. It's correct. Yeah, weird. With D at okay. the end, weird. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Weird. Weird. Yeah, I know. It's it's. I like white because I don't know for. I don't know. I think it's just a clean color. But you you can see. I don't know. Wait a second. Because I. Mm, wait a second. What is this? What is this? You see? White. I like white. I just love the color white. ¿Sí lo vieron o no se vio? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's it. Okay. Yes. I love, I love white. But, um, the, what is the thing? Like, not beginner, but what I, le puse el, el, el background the beginner in your advance. Ah, I have to change it to real advance. Like that. Eh, it's almost over. Okay, uh, but some people said said that because of my skin color, my the best colors for me are like red, like like yeah, strong colors, like really strong colors. And yes, I think I look good in strong colors, but I prefer white. I don't know why, but I like it. I just like it. Okay, <laughs> that's just an opinion that I wanted to add. Now, we're gonna watch a video in recommendations and opinions that is in the platform. That's just a video of, of a grammar, a little bit of a grammar point. Tomorrow, we're gonna have more discussion topics because I need you to discuss some topics, but let's go here. Teacher, I don't listen, teacher. I, I don't listen. I don't listen. All the time. Teacher, if you want to give no. a recommendation or an okay. opinion about this, is stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. 
Very good. Okay, what she's trying to say here, pay attention, is giving recommendations and opinions. And there's there are two ways about like how to, oh, how to do this. The first one is a recommendation that I use like should, something should be done. But then there's another kind of recommendation that something I think it must be an obligation. And what we're going to do is we're gonna use should or must or have plus the verb be, right? Remember when we have models and they're the verb be, we don't add to, okay? We don't add it because this is in the infinitive way. And actually the models don't need that. They don't need that. It's like, I can play piano. You don't say I can to play piano. That is not correct. Now, here she's giving you uh, an instruction. To give recommendations, you're gonna use the model. The model is should, must, and have. Plus B, plus the past infinitive with the past B. So for example, you have it here. Oh, and when something is a good idea, should or ought to. And when something is absolutely necessary, like this is not a question, it's necessary, you say must or have to or have got to. Both are the, both are the same. And then the structure you're gonna use is should be, and then the verb in the past participle, you see the <laughs> verb in the past, participle. Again, should to give a recommendation <laughs> that you think is a good idea and then must ha or have to or yeah, must or have to, yeah. Then it, that is for something that you think is absolutely necessary. Okay? Is that clear? Yeah. I think it's an easy grammar point just to use modal verbs to express opinions. Okay, guys, I will see you, well, how, I think you are working on the platform. I hope you're working on the platform because we need to finish that. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. And then again, only like Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and that's it. And yeah, please work on the platform, okay? Okay. Have a good okay, night. Okay, teacher, good night. Bye, -bye. have a perfect good night. night. Good night, Practice. stay safe. Practice, yeah, you too, bye-bye. <laughs> okay.